wangapi wa sahi menuke? Wangapi wa sahi? Wangapi wa sahi? wanasema hivi ukienda western wanasema hivi ukienda coast wanasema hivi Kenya imechoka bunda amefanya nini jana anajiita KDF jamedari kama babu yangu jeno mulinge huyo kijana nataka aje hapa asalimiane dakika moja tuatie hapa hivi mtumie nda kwamba mume huyo ni yeye Atombo <laughs> Democrats, <laughs>
says that all sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with this constitution. Sub Article 2. The people may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. Particularly, I now proceed to put the question. Order. With the motion having been approved by citizens of Kenya here at Kathiani, I there now ask the petitioner to append their signature led by His Excellency Dr. Stephen Kaloza Musiakwa. The dear girls. Asante, 
Hiyo katiba inampatia mwananchi wa Kenya mamlaka kuchukua kuchukua mamlaka mikononi mwake na kufanya vile mimi nimefanya hapa leo. Kwa sababu viongozi tuliwachagua wengine wakienda kwa bunge kama mambo haya ya kodi hii ambayo inadhulumu uchumi na kila mmoja anajua hiyo. Wengine wamekubali wenyewe waliwanunua. Hebu imagine kiongozi akisimama na kusema tulinunua watu na bado huyo ni kiongozi yani ufisadi umekuwa official haiwezekani tumesema la wangapi wanasema tumekataa utawala wa aina hiyo na basi mmoja wao alienda huko sehemu zingine mjumbe mjumbe fulani akaenda huko akasema wakati nilikuwa nikifanya maandamano kwa Kenya wakiniita Buffalo Soja. Akasema Kalonzo anafanya maandamano peke yake. Leo mimi niko peke yangu. Wangapi wanasema tuko pamoja kutoka leo kenda mbele. Kwa hayo matamsha udanganyifu ameshikwa akiiba. Naomba munisikilize bila chuki bila uoga tukifikiria tu kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu peke yake ndio kiongozi wa shughuli hii ambayo tumeanzisha tukijua kwamba ni yetu ni kuwa na Kenya moja Kenya moja the republic of Kenya lakini wengine wameleta kusema nchi imekuwa kama kampuni huyu jamaa anaitwa Gachiedha. Mwenyewe ameongea waziwazi wazi kusema kwamba if you are not a shareholder kama huwa huku wapigia kura wewe huna haki hata kama ukitoa ushuru utakuwa na haki ya kupata usaidizi kutoka kwa utawala huu. Ndio tukasema ikiwa ni hivyo basi na tukusikia mkubwa wake akijitokeza akanushe maneno maneno haya This is a, a statement of basic fundamental ramifications not just in this land but worldwide We have never had in a democracy We've never had in a democracy that those who do not vote for you are exorcised literally from any administration that cannot be a democracy and we are here to claim the democratic tradition of this wonderful nation nimeongea hiyo kwa hiyo lugha waelewe na ndani lugha sawa kwa hivyo basi kwa nini tukafikia hapa tulifanya hata tukao tayari tuweje mazungumzo Mazungumzo bipartisan talks. Mmoja wa viongozi ambao sisi azimio la umoja wa Kenya tulimteua hawe hapo ni seneta wa Kitui, seneta Kiyo wa Mboa. Na pamoja na wenzake wakaweka kila juhudi tukutane, tufanye hivi, tukutane, tufanye hivi. Hawakuonyesha nia safi. And in any negotiation you have to demonstrate absolute good faith i am a professional negotiator and i know what i'm talking about in the absence of absolute good faith you cannot even begin so from the word go kk had no intention to sit at the negotiating table na tukaona basi kama ni hivyo Wacha sisi tuambie wenzetu hao ambao wamechaguliwa na wananchi wa Kenya na kura zao wawache kuharibu wakati. So we say it stop it. Iko watu ambao walipitisha ile mswada wa taxation kwa kinyume ya sheria. Sheria inasema kwamba kama iko voting inafanywa. Lazima kukwe na hybrid watu wengine wapike kwa 
mtandao na wengine wapige wakiwa pale ile ilipitishwa mara moja na watu wakupiga wote hiyo ni fraud na ni upusi ya mwisho rais ameadaa vijana wa Kenya wame suspend ile inaitwa private universities funding hiyo ni kitu mbaya kwa higher education ya Kenya ya kwanza tunakuja kusema gharama ya maisha imepanda juu sana imepanda juu sana kwa tunasema enough is na tunasema Kenya kwanza must kama ukia Kenya kwanza must alafu wacha niwaambie kitu kingine unajua wakati waliomba kura walizunguka wakatuambia Ah, watainua mama mboga watainua mtu ya boda boda lakini wakati wamepitisha mswada pale bunge wale watu wamesaidika ni magonyenye yule mtu wako na ndege yule hapo na helikopter ushuru yake ikapunguzwa lakini wao mwananchi wa kawaida mafuta imepanda unga imepanda sukari imepanda kila kitu imeenda hiyo ndio boto mapo ulikuwa mnatema kwa because of that tunasema Kenya kwanza must na hakuna huruma sisi kama wa Kenya tuna haki ya kukutana mahali popote bila kututumia polisi watutape hata una haya ulipokonya askari pesa yao ya matibabu ya NHIF ukapotea watu wengine kwa hivyo unjua hao askari ni wa Kenya na warudishiwe kadi zao za NHIF to continue taxing Kenyans ni kama ni watoto wako we the people the people of Kenya enough is enough akama ulikuwa unafikiria hii mchezo itaisha saa hivi ngoma ndiyo imeanza ngoma ndiyo inaanza hapa kadiriane ngoma pikilele sheria mpaka uhakikishe umetoka kwa hiyo seta unafikiria ni yako seta ni ya wakenya wote na hawakukuweka hapo wewe ulijiweka hapo kupitia mlango wa juma Kisha wamejitawala bila kutafuta.
utalala na wewe vile unataka ukitaka we must have a conversation as Kenyans and decide our destiny we must make sure if you are not going to bring the cost of living down we need self determination of Kenya na ukae na kampuni yako na kashago Hello 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 Hello